This is example one from page 204 of the year one textbook. And it says, write down the values of, we've got some sines to work out, and we've got some cosines to do that, to work out. So we're gonna do this from the graph. So sine of 90 degrees, we can find sine of 90 degrees on the horizontal axis. And there is the sine that goes along with 90 degrees. So the sine of 90 degrees is one. Finding 180 degrees on our axis, there we go. 180 degrees, so we can say that the sine of 180 degrees is zero. Likewise for 270, it has a sign of negative one. Going for the cosines, the first one is relatively straightforward. Again, we just find 180 and we find the conclusion that the cosine of 180 is negative one. Now when it comes to the cosine of 90 degrees, that's actually off our graph. But what we can imagine is that the cosine graph has a line of symmetry about the y-axis. So the cosine of minus 90 degrees is the same as the cosine of 90 degrees. And there's 90 degrees on our axis, so it must be zero. And as for the last one, cosine of 450 degrees, well, that's not actually on our graph. The one thing to note about these graphs is that they repeat every 360 degrees. So if we notice that 450 degrees is 360 degrees above 90, we can say that the cosine of 450 must be the same as the cosine of 90 degrees, so it's also zero. Thank you.